first book by Anastasia. Honor and respects. This is Sancista Brujo Luis. So today I will be doing a review on the follow up to Witchcraft, a handbook of magic spells and potions by Anastasia Graham Wolf uh, with illustrations by Melissa West. Her follow up to her 2016 uh, spell book, which is titled Love Magic. A handbook of uh, spells, charms, and potions. Also, it's our follow-up uh, by Anastasia Graham Wolf, with also illustrations by Melissa West. Here on San Cisco Blue Luis. So, Witchcraft, a handbook of magical spells and potions, was first published uh, in May of 2016. Okay, so it's been two years, and she finally followed up with her second book. This one I reviewed a few years ago when it first came out. It made a lot of controversy. Okay, but let's go further first with just explaining uh, this the, the outside of both books. Well, first of all, they're both hardcover, as you can see. Uh, this one is in black and gold, and the inside is purple, okay, while this one is red and gold. Beautiful red and gold, also embossed, embossed love magic, as well as this one, witchcraft. While this one is purple, this one is a beautiful gold, beautiful gold color, and it says love magic. This book was just published, I think, May of 2018, and it's the follow-up to her successful witchcraft and successful and controversial book, uh, Witchcraft. So this is what we're going to be talking about today. So before I go any further, you can pick up both these books, Amazon.com, uh, Barnes & Nobles, any reputable bookstore. Uh, go online, check them out. Uh, go on Amazon, go on BarnesAndNobles.com. You can find both these books. Again, this one is Witchcraft, a handbook of magical spells and potions. Uh, again, and it's by Anastasia Gray and Wolf. And again, Love Magic, also by Anastasia Gray and Wolf. And you can pick up both these books online, Amazon.com, Barnes and Nobles, and any uh, reputable bookstore. Check them out and you can pretty much find them online. So I'm going to leave a link down below because I already reviewed this controversial but very successful book. Uh, and I'll leave a link down below, a full, um, I'll, I'll leave a link down below of my full review on this one. And again, it was published, uh, what was it, May 2016. A beautiful book. Very controversial. And I'm going to get further into that uh, because of the spells that are within this book. One thing about this, uh, both these beautiful books is that the woodcuts, as you can see, are by Melissa West. Both books have the woodcuts and it is this beautiful book uh, woodcuts and it is full of pretty much traditional uh, I would say the, this one right here is Victorian uh, spells and charms from the Victorian era you will see a lot of uh, English spells uh, spells from uh, gypsy fortune uh, gypsy you know gypsy magic uh, Spells that she found from sources from many uh, books. And in the back of the book, in her sources, let me see if I can find it right here, actually. She tells you all the sources where she got uh, most of her uh, her spells. And you can see some of the dates are pretty old. Okay, So this is not something that she made up. This is something that uh, she compiled from other sources of uh, books on magic, grimoires, uh, spell books, and I guess what some people would call uh, books of shadows or whatever people call them. What I love about both these books is the, uh, 
I mean, the woodcuts are just gorgeous. They're amazing. They are both 250 pages. They're both the same. They're around the same size. Okay. Uh, this one is in black and gold with witchcraft embossed. While this one, Love Magic, a handbook of uh, charm, uh, spells, charms, and potion, also by Anastasia Grainwolf. Uh, Love Magic is embossed, red and gold, and you can open it, and it's a beautiful gold. And then you get into the book. So when I first did my review on witchcraft, a handbook of magical spells and, 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 and potions, I did this disclaimer to let people know that this is traditional magic from around the world. Uh, Victorian era, you will find uh, Indian magic, Native American magic, uh, shamanistic magic, uh, Romani gypsy magic and she does give the sources to all her spells in the back of the book many of the English forms of magic that she uses were from England around you know the Victorian area era which is around the what the 1800s 1700s so a lot of the magic in those times was were very influenced by Christian magic. So you're going to find a lot of Christian uh, spells and incantation throughout the book. So a lot of modern people who practice uh, uh, modern forms of uh, Wicca uh, or uh, neo-paganism will definitely not enjoy this book. A lot of people uh, criticize this book because there, there are dark spells. There are spells uh, to curse an enemy. There are spells to even a... I guess it was a spell. Let's see what I can find. To make an enemy suffer. Okay, what else do we have here? Uh... To ward off an enemy. There was a spell you to curse an enemy using a mirror. So there's a lot of curses in here. Uh, what else do we have? There was, I guess there was a, sp there's a spell here. I haven't read this book in a while, but there's a spell here to uh, make a pregnant woman have an abortion. So a lot of people found this to be very, they just didn't really like it, you know. But this is really traditional magic. Uh, what magic was, how magic was used in those eras, especially if you visited a, a uh, whether it was a witch or a cunning folk in these places. And a lot of the spells, I don't know if this one is, let's see, a lot of the incantations you will notice are very Christian based. So I'm just showing you really quick before I go into the next book because there are people who love this book as a, an academic, a, well, first of all, as a spell book. It, it is, it's, it's just for summer reading. It's a really nice book. It's got beautiful art. Uh, and for just a collection of academic spells, a, traditional or historic spells. And like I said, in the ending of her book, she cites all her resources where she got her spells. And many of the spells, like I have mentioned, are a Christian based. You'll say a Gaelic incantation, which right here, uh, let's see, I'm trying to find, trying to find Christian, a Christian incantation. So this is what uh, really turned off a lot of people. Now, mind you, this book, nowhere does this book say uh, a handbook of uh, Wicca or modern neo-paganism. It is a handbook of witchcraft and how witchcraft was practiced during many eras. And like I said, she cites many of her resources, which were uh, well-known books from the 1800s. She has uh, Gypsy Folk Magic, uh, Agrippa. I think there's Abra Malin. She's got some, you know, magic spells from Abra Malin. So, much of the magical spells or, or, or spells in, used in this book or within this book are from these. And these are not spells. If you're looking for a parking spot, a spell for a parking spot or a, a spell, I don't know, to charm a garden, you're not going to find it in, 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 in this book. So in this book, I just want to show you that many of the spells within this book 
uh, will use, okay, like this one right here, to secure man and beast against all misfortunes. You will see uh, both Jesus Christ, the saints, uh, God mentioned. Uh, this one right here, may God the Father. And then it goes on to say, Mary with her dear infant, Jesus, uh, Jesus Christ. So you will see a lot of the spells within this book have prayers uh, to Jesus and, and Mary and the angels. Uh, and then, of course, you'll have uh, like Indian. There's a gypsy spell. What else? We got gypsy charm. Let's see what we have. Hindu incantation. Okay. So a lot of the English spells, which were from the Victorian era, era will uh, use Jesus Christ, Mary, and the uh, Holy Trinity. A lot of uh, Wiccans and Neo-Pagans will definitely not like that. Uh, and again, there are spells to curse. There's spells for cattle. You will find spells similar to this in like the powwow, which is a, a, a famous American grimoire. Let's see what else I find. So a lot of the spells here, you know, a lot of people don't like. I enjoy the book as just a summer reading. Uh, and again, it's got beautiful woodcuts throughout the book. Just a charming little book. So now I'm going to go to the second book. Because I, I've already did a video on this one. And I'll leave the link down below. Go check it out. But now I'm going to do a run through of her second book, Love Magic. A handbook of spells, charms, and potions. And I'm just going to show you again. They're both hardcover. This one is black and purple. And this one is red, gold, and uh, red, gold, and then with inside it's gold. So both books are 250 pages. They're both hardcover and bows. This one is magic from cursing to everything like that. This book, Love Magic, of course, the title of the book says it all, focuses more on love magic it's a beautiful uh book a lot of people ask me do i use the spells in these uh, uh i guess we can call them spell books and i uh, uh, to be honest with you no i have my traditional hispanic forms of doing magic but these are just summer readings and i enjoy them i i enjoy collecting spell books in the summer i collect the uh, simpler readings while in the fall and winter i like to collect more grimoires uh deeper uh, and if, you know grimoires and you notice that i have done videos on big tomes on grimoires but during the summer i just like to enjoy easy reading something that i can pick up and just really quickly read and and, and just move on with my day what I love about both for Brooks is the woodcuts. I mean, look at that. Just amazing. And again, uh, this one is platonic love and animal friends, I guess. Yeah. But look at how beautiful that is. I love the woodcuts. And again, some of the spells here are written by Anastasia Greenwolf, some others by friends that she has known, and then other other spells here are also by historical uh, people, where again, in her sources, she leaves a, you know, where she uh, collected uh, the spells. Just look how beautiful the woodcuts are. I just want to show you. Uh, to make a friend fall out of love with you. So most of it is has to do with uh, love magic. Let's see what else we have here. And I just enjoy the the woodcuts. Here's an incantation. Okay, a knot spell. Just a beautiful book. And a lot of people, the first book, they, they really criticized it. There are many uh, people who practice uh, modern Wicca, of course, they didn't like it. But people who, who enjoy studying magic and witchcraft, whether it's from Europe or from various parts of the world, they, they enjoyed it. So you'll have people who really dislike this book and people who love this book. Well, the original one, so I'm sure it will be the same with this one. Uh, to cure shyness that just comes with time I guess I just want to show you some of the beautiful woodcuts within this book I mean they're just really beautiful this is a love tea it's really hard to do the video uh, as I'm holding 
because I want you to see some of the beautiful woodcuts. To find love in summer. I always say uh, when it comes to love magic, in order to find love, you have to love yourself. If you don't love yourself, no one's ever going to love you. So that is just the general rule. Uh, you ever want to perform a love magic, you have to love yourself. Spell for a blind date. A simple, you know. Love these uh, woodcuts, these, these drawings throughout the book. Uh, spells to see your love life's future. I just want you to see uh, some of the woodcuts. Look at that. Really beautiful. Uh, I just I just think that... I, I, I wish more books like this were published. You know? Queen of Cups, Tarot Charm. Okay. I'm just going to go through as many of the woodcuts as I can. Look at that. Very beautiful. Passion and Romance Spells. Like I said, both books are 250 pages. They are hardcover. Okay, so let me go back to... She's just pretty much a uh, champagne love charm. I just want to show you pretty much the, the woodcuts. So they are beautiful books. They they really are beautiful spell books. There are people who will love them and people who will understand that these are just collections of various spells from various traditions and forms of witchcraft and 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 and, and thoughts of magic. So I just wanted to show you, do a really quick review. I enjoy this book. You will see that it has a lot of bad ratings in Amazon.com. Understand that in this book, in the back of the book, and I will show you again, she does her sources, and many of them, let me see if I can find them right here, many of her sources, uh, there's your, your, the Agrippa right there, uh, let's see what else, and when that book was published, okay, the power I think is also in here. Pretty sure because I, I recognize right there, Pow Wow, which was first published in 1829. Okay, so a lot of people say this this is disrespectful to neo pagan. This is not neo pagan witchcraft. It's not Wicca. This is witchcraft that's practiced around the world, and there will be curses. There will be spells for a woman to lose her lover, to lose her. You know, this is not something on a study of witchcraft. It is how spells and magic were used around the world. This one, again, love magic. She wrote it with other authors. And at the end of the book, let me pause this for a second. I'm going to show you uh, all the pr other people who wrote in the book. So here are her uh, contributors. Okay, many of them are artists, uh, writers in other, uh, have written other books. There's right here, this one right here, Josephine uh, Preston Peabody. Uh, she was a, she was a poet and also wrote The Singing Leaves, a book of songs and spells. I think this was uh, published in 1898, I can't remember, 1902. And then you have a lot of modern uh, people who wrote, this one right here also was a poet and an author who published in 1928. So some are her friends and some are not, but do I recommend them as summer reading? They're, they're, they're beautiful. They, they just look beautiful on the shelf. They are hardcover. I think more books on magic and witchcraft should be published like this. Understand that just because it says witchcraft, I'm not disrespecting Wiccans or Neo-Pagans. Uh, do your research before you buy books because not every book that says witchcraft has to do with uh, Wicca. 
or or a religion you know witchcraft is not always a doctrine and a creed and a philosophy it is just magic it is just a craft a craft of the wise uh having wisdom of magic and using it for both a uh, positive and a uh, negative for both a uh, protection and for both destruction so do i recommend this i love them both me personally you know if you've seen most of my books on on spell books i tend to enjoy you know older books i don't really buy new books but when i do buy newer books they are a collection of spell books that have that, that are from other uh, uh, sources that are very old and they just look beautiful in your shelf so do i recommend it i highly do and look at it for what it is a spell book of both positive and negative magic of love magic of 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 curses and conjurations and it's just beautiful so anyways i hope you enjoyed this video i'm going to cut this short uh do i recommend it i definitely do pick them up you can pick them up at amazon.com barnes and nobles go online check them out you will see that some people will dislike these books but there are many who collect magic, who don't, who are just traditional, who are just witches, who don't really fo follow a religious philosophy, who love these books. Um, and they just look beautiful on the shelves. This is Sassista Brujo Luis. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please hit that like button. Please subscribe. And please leave your comments down below.